Hello and welcome to Jaws of Data. Hello, my name is Dave, and in this video, I'm going to go through the Py the R library QuantMod for the purpose of stock analysis. Um, this image down here is something of what we are going to make, um, although we're going to add in some exponential moving lines. Um, this is the stock um, Shopify. So this is Shopify over here. Okay, let's get going okay so we want to firstly make sure that we install it's called quant mod so we want to make sure it's installed on your computer um let's just restart okay so there we go okay so it's installed secondly you want to then import quant quant mod Make sure that that is fine. Just double check. Okay. Okay. So uh, next up, we are going to um, use the function get symbols, which is in the quant mod library. It's a function that um, we, we will pass through the argument shop. And what that basically does is that will this essentially becomes our our it, it pulls in our data. It's basically what this function does, which is the data for Shopify, the stock. Okay, so we're going to use a uh, the function chart series, and we're going to use that to plot. So let's just quickly take a look at some of the arguments that it has. We see down here in the bottom the function. So the function name, which is chart series, will come first. Then X is our data, so that I'll just do shop. The type is quite cool. We could decide we could have auto, could have um, uh, well, uh, yeah. Anyways, we could uh, choose candlesticks, matchsticks, bars, line. For the subset, the default is null. For the name, the default is null, and there are a few other things. I'm not going to go through all these arguments. Um, but I will do some of them. So let's go chart series, and that will be shop. Then let's do what's the next one? The type. So let's do line, and we pass that through as a string. Will be line, and then of course the name. Where do we have name, 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 name? There we go. By default, it's null. So let's just do what did I do there? I said Shopify stock price and moving averages. And then to end off, let's do subset. Is it subset? Subsetting? Yeah, okay. So let's do subset and subset is basically the date so again we pass it through as a string so 2020 what's the date today it's the 30th of the 8th so 0830 I think it's the American way of doing this Americans always like to do things differently it's all good we love them um, and then 0830 Okay, now if I click run, you see it's going to generate this chart over here. Now, by default, it's black. I like this this black one, um, but we we could change it in the theme argument. You can see there's an argument called themes. So chart theme black is the default, but we could say chart theme uh, white. So let's just show you how that works. Um, so let's add comma so chart uh, theme is it it's just no sorry it's theme equals chart theme uh, I do like this argument function because it helps you so much so it's chart theme and the default is black so let's do white I think that should be good then if we run um, no unexpected Comma. Mm -hmm. No, that shouldn't be. 
There we go. Okay. Okay, cool. So now we've got the white. I don't really like the white, so let's just stick with the... But just to show you how the chart theme works, you, you can play with these colors. But just for the sake of time, let's just stick with the black. I do like the black one. Okay, let's now add. So we're going to use add EMA. Exponential moving average is a... I do, I'm just for the sake of time, I'm just trying to get this done as quick as possible. Um, I don't have time to look at the arguments for add EMA. So I'm just going to go 10 is the sort of interval. So we're going to look at the first one's going to be 10 on 1 and then call. Let's make this color blue. Okay, so what this is going to do here is going to add a line, you see. Um, object on, on, oh sorry, I did a dash. Uh, let's take a look. Yeah, there you can see there's a, flame, a faint blue line. Now, I'm not going to go into how to analyze EMA. In this video, I do in some of my other ones. But what an exponential moving average does is it, it enable, it's a really powerful tool in stock analysis. So, and let's make this next one red. And we click run. Again, what, uh, what is that? Okay, 50. Let's do 50. Okay, so now we got 50. And the last one, let's do a moving average of 200. Uh, and then the color, let's do yellow. Okay, so now we got three different moving averages. And that's it. That's how it works. I really love this library and I use it a lot to plot charts and for my analysis. So I encourage you to take a look at their library and to use it. It's fantastic. Have a good day.